If you've checked the news, you know the Razorbacks defense has its field general of the future. Gritty middle linebacker Chris Paul is ready to bring the program back to its rightful place. He was very excited, man. You know, it's very electric. And they know that the program's on a downfall, you know, but you know, with us, man, we're going to bring it back to its feet, man. We're going to bring it back to where the program's supposed to be. And I'm bringing it with those coaches say that South Georgia football, man, that physical football. That's right. This commits got Georgia on his mind. Keeps Georgia on my mind. Coming from out of state only emphasizes his belief in a new coaching staff and a tried and true culture. Growing up in Arkansas basically means growing up a Razorback. You live around shops like these. You know we're going to the dang store? You wear stuff like this. And you drink out of cups like these. And you even got dogs looking like this one. Heck, you might even be sleeping like this. What is that guy doing over there? I have no idea. But being from Georgia, Chris Paul didn't have that kind of lifestyle. He wasn't around hogs, he had dogs. But that doesn't make him any less excited to don this cap next spring and this jersey next fall. You're still alive, man. Everybody's still happy, man. Especially the fan base, man. An incredible fan base. They just, you know, very supportive in my decision. They went for me with open arms, man. And I couldn't be blessed to be a part of such a great family, man. But they're a great upcoming program, man. And with Coach Pippen there, I know they're going to bring the, the smash my mentality there. So, man, I just want to be a part of that team. I want to be a part of that upbringing. Man, they say that uh, I'm a very physical uh, Mike linebacker. They call me a true Mike linebacker, you know. I'm a very physical at the point of attack, man. I stop running the best of the tracks or I drive it back up yard. And, but I also have the athleticism and the speed, you know, to cover receivers or to cover running backs, man, and uh, make them. And I'm and I'm very athletic, so I can make those open field tackles, you know. And he said, but number one thing that he's seeing in me was leadership, man. And he said he can tell that I lead the defense, so I lead my team and things like that, man. My coaches like to call me a field general. They have that type of trust in me to where you know that I can make those audibles on the field, you know, without the, without the coaches, you know, having to, having to have this say so. I can make those audibles or I can make those adjustments, you know, because they feel comfortable with me, you know, if I make that call, they trust that it's going to fall through, man, or it's going to make that big play, you know. Arkansas wasn't the first place Paul was going to call home. He once committed to Nebraska and then decommitted. Now his heart and his future is with Arkansas. Things happen for a reason, man. And I feel as if, you know, with those with that coaching staff, with Coach Browns, when he was at Florida State, uh, Coach Pippen and Coach Fountain, when they were at Georgia, Coach Odom, when he was at Missouri, Coach Jimmy Smith, when he was at Cedar Grove High School, and then when he went to Georgia State, it was like God just put them all at one school. And he was like, he was just telling me, man, Arkansas is a place for you. God, man, first and foremost, most man, Coach Pippen is a great guy. And man, if I could, man, I'll show you the message where I sent him as soon as he got the head coach he gave that man that me saying that I want to play for you, coach. And you know, just a high energy guy, man. He can, he brings energy and happiness into a room when he walks in. Coach that he brought in with him. You know, they're great guys as well. They're gonna bring in that that smash drop mentality. And you know that, that energetic mentality, man, that's something that, you know, and that physicality, something that Arkansas needs, man. You know, unfortunately, they, they haven't been good the past couple of years. But those folks you got, man, they're going to turn that program around, man. It's going to be a, a team that everyone fears, not only SEC team, but all the teams fear. My goal, man, is simple, man. I got to be the best that I can be, man. Play to my best abilities, man. And, you know, just put my family in the best situation, man, you know, to wear, man, I, like I told my pops, man, three years, and three years from now, man, I want to be sitting, waiting on the NFL draft, man, that's, that's my goal, that, that's my goal. Along the way, other recent commits helped Chris with his decision. Oh, yeah, man, I talked to uh, Jermaine, uh, I talked to Lucas Coley, uh, you know, those, those couple guys, those two guys, you know, were the main factors of as to why. You know, as soon as I got the offer, you know, they added in this little group chat, man. It was just talking to me, you know. It was a no-brainer because, you know, I have a I have a bond with these commits and I have a bond with all of these coaches, man. It was just, it was just guys that are telling me, man, Arkansas is the way for me. 